Welcome back to another video, I'm King Cow, and today I will be teaching you how to make better YouTube thumbnails. So this tutorial won't be for anyone, but for the majority of people, this tutorial will help you for at least a baseline on how to make your thumbnails. First of all, I open Sony Vegas, or whatever your editing program is, and I take the file into Sony Vegas for the video that I'm making the thumbnail for. So let's say this is the file to the video that we are editing with that beautiful man right there. I just skim through, click around until I find a screen grab that doesn't look like a stupid face and I could use for a thumbnail. Preferably I'd be like looking into the camera. Maybe something like this, but that mouth is a little open there. So let's say this is good enough right here. This is going to be our screen grab for our thumbnail. So once again, if you're using Sony Vegas, you want to make sure the preview should be set to best full and then you just click this button right here in another program you're gonna have to figure it out yourself <laughs> now once you're in photoshop you're gonna want to open that up by just clicking file open and then selecting it now that you have your screen grab in here you're gonna want to actually select yourself so in the newer versions of photoshop you can just go up here click select subject and it will do a base outline of the subject for you sometimes it's perfect usually it's not this is going to be the boring part you're just going to go through make sure that everything's perfect so i will get back to you once i have done that So that's pretty much it for the subject itself. It's not perfect, but this isn't going to be about making it perfect. If you want it to be perfect, you can go and do that in your spare time. So after you select the subject too, if you do have a microphone in front of you, like I do, um, I recommend selecting that as part of it because it looks weird if it just cuts off. So now that you have yourself selected, chances are, don't want to generalize, but you probably have hair. If so, that selection is not going to turn out perfect if you don't click right click and then click select and mask. You're going to want to go to this tool right here, and you're just going to want to go to your hair, go along the edges, and as you'll see, it will cut the background out and auto-detect and get a much better selection. You can, once again, make it more perfect, but that's not what I'm trying to do today. After you have that, just right-click and then click Layer via Copy. So now you can see that it's not perfect, but you have a me, or a you in your case. So you can either throw yourself into a different background, say you're doing a Fortnite video, Boom, you can yeet yourself into a Fortnite background, but that's not what I'm about today. What I usually do, and this is what most vloggers or just creators that don't do gaming and just sit down and talk to the camera about whatever it may be will probably need to do. Once again, if you're a gaming YouTuber, you can just take these tips and apply it into a Fortnite thumbnail instead. But what I start off with, now that I have the two different selections, I'll grab the background, I'll do Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And then you can adjust this how you want, but as you can see, it'll just make you stick out from your background. And you can go all the way up with it, but I don't recommend that. I would say around here, maybe 7 lower is preferable. And then after that, if you do have a perfect selection, you can go ahead and add an outline or an outer glow to yourself. Note, if your selection isn't perfect, it will make your thumbnail look of less quality if you do an outline without the perfect selection and let me show you what i mean so as you can see if i turn this outline up since i did not do a perfect selection it really just shows all the mistakes i made and how it's not perfectly feathered and you can also feather out the edge if you wish i usually do something like this throw an outline on it a background see up here with my hair it can get a little weird you can take an eraser go in on that a bit but once again we're not here for perfection i usually also grab the two layers and just zoom out and expand it a little bit just to get a better kind of view of it make sure that it's completely in frame after this i often change the color of the background you can do that by going to image adjustments hue slash saturation then click colorize and you can really mess with this whatever you want once again you don't really want to do this if you don't have a good selection so this thumbnail won't look perfect i don't know what to write so i'm just going to add the text text after you do any thumbnail i highly recommend clicking this right here down in the bottom so you can click vibrance and definitely boost that up the more vibrant your thumbnails are the more clickable they are just don't overdo it obviously this looks like way too much i look like a certain president that i will not name so you just turn it down a little bit and there you get a happy medium one more thing i will show you is a little bit of a next step it's grabbing designs and merging them with the background to create a cooler look i highly recommend getting a design pack off of youtube there's a bunch of free ones 
Uh, I will link some to my good friend Timpers. He's made some. I might link some of those in the description. So I just found this off uh, Google real quick. This little design right here. So I'm going to want to uh, shift T so I can control it. After you do that, you're going to want to go to the blend options right here. And now you can see as you scroll through them, it looks very different. So this blend option right here looks really good because you can see the pattern, but it also still shows the background. Maybe if you turn the background to purple instead, um, let's see, we can do that right here. Go for a little bit of a purple. Maybe that'll look even better and match with that better. And you can do that, mess with lighting, do that a whole bunch of times, create something that looks really cool. Anyways, that was my tutorial on how to make thumbnails. Uh, I really hope that helped a lot of you. If there's something that you still want to know that I didn't answer in this video, feel free to either leave a comment or go over to my Twitch channel. I stream there pretty much every day and I respond to all comments. So if you guys just want to go and chat, ask me a question, I can show you how to do something live. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more content like this and besides that i will see you in the next video bye